Hey guys, and welcome to Bunches of Lunches. Today I have something very special planned, and it's going to be a little different, but, 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 don't worry, it's gonna be great. Today's lunch is inspired by one of my favorite YouTubers, Mariah Elizabeth. Why, you ask? Well, it all started with the JoJo Siwa lunch. After that bow-tastic lunch, I asked you guys who I should make a lunch for next. And so many of you said Mariah Elizabeth. Over on her channel, she's all about arts, crafts, and of course, squishies. Her channel is definitely one I like to binge watch myself, but it's also one that the kids and I love to watch together. Her videos are fun and cute, and they always make us laugh. I'll go ahead and put a link to her channel in the description box below if you'd like to check her out. Okay guys, here it is. Today we're going to be eating this bento squishy lunch. Yay! Uh, just kidding. So one of the things Mariah is known for is her squishy makeovers. She takes old, tired squishies and she paints them up so they look fun and new. I love to see how she takes something that's not so special and turns it into something great. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do with her lunch today. I've been told that Mariah is a fan of hamburgers, so that's what we're starting with today. Now before Mariah starts the makeover process, she always stops to roast the item she's making over. So she points out the things that she doesn't really like about it. And in the case of this burger, the things I don't like about it are really easy to see. This is a pretty wimpy, sad little burger. <laughs> There's barely any meat. It's pretty dry. And what is this? Onions? Yeah, no. We can do better than this. So now it's time to build Mariah a better burger. The thing that's gonna make this burger extra great is I'm gonna make my own special buns. Now these aren't just any buns. I'm gonna be making some panda buns. Did you guys know that the panda bun squishy is one of the most popular squishies of all time? It's true, at least I think it's true. Don't quote me on that. So I'm just gonna take some bread dough that I prepared off camera. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of flour just so it doesn't stick. I'm gonna have a moment alone with my dough. Wait a minute, this is not that kind of video. Now I'm gonna be making several extra buns here because who just makes one bun? I don't know, not me. And I'm gonna make these on the smaller side so it's almost like a burger slider. So I'm just going to pinch off the dough, try to smooth it out as best I can. And then to make these into panda buns, I'm gonna try it two different ways because I'm not <laughs> sure which is going to work best. For my first try, I'm gonna add two smaller pieces of dough. I'm not sure if this is gonna work. Oh, oh man. Now he's a member of the missing air squad. These ears just do not want to stick. I'm gonna try adding a little bit of water to see if that helps the dough stick better. And yeah, it's not the best, but it's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these smaller dough pieces to just three of my buns. And the other three, I'm gonna try something different. And after about 10 minutes in the oven, the bread is ready. But as you can see, this did not work at all. These are not pretty. This guy lost an ear altogether. And then this guy also had a blowout. Not one of these rolls came out perfectly round. So that means it's time for plan B. So to make our bun into a panda bun, I'm going to use my black Food Writer pens. So this is Food Safe Ink. You can find these at Target and Walmart. So I'm just gonna to proceed to draw a panda face on my bread as best I can. Wait a minute. I do not know what's up with this guy's head. And now it's time for our panda friend to prep for surgery. And voila, surgery was a success. Now that we have our buns sliced in half, I'm going to add a little bit of mayo, a happy little squirt of ketchup, a flower-shaped burger patty, because why not? followed by a flower-shaped slice of cheese. I'm gonna top that with some lettuce, a few slices of tomato. I'm gonna smear a little bit more mayo on the top bun. And just like that, we have a panda cheeseburger. So there you have it. I definitely think that this new burger is a huge improvement upon the first burger. I don't know, what do you guys think? Would you rather eat burger number one or burger number two? For Mariah's lunch, I'm gonna make sure to include a fruit and a vegetable. 
So for the fruit, what do you guys think of this mystery fruit cup? I'm honestly not sure if this is peaches or if it's mangoes. It's not even labeled. To tell you the truth, I do think these are yummy, especially when they're packed in juice. But the biggest problem I have with these fruit cups is that every time I open them, they tend to spill juice everywhere and get all messy. So I think for Mariah's lunch, we can do better. Now, if you've watched Mariah's channel for a while, you'll know that she loves all things rainbow. So for our fruit, we're going with a rainbow. And now that I have all the fruit together, they have to take a ride. Why? Because it's fun. So now I'm gonna take some of these long reusable food picks and I'm gonna go ahead and add the fruit right on there in a rainbow order, of course. Strawberry, mandarin orange, pineapple, green grape, blueberry, and uh-oh, I can't quite fit the grape on there, so we're gonna go ahead and skip that. Okay guys, so there we have it. We have a mystery fruit cup on this side, and on the other side, rainbow fruit on a stick. Both pretty good options, I'd say, but I'm guessing Mariah would like the rainbow one better. Next up is the yogurt. You guys know I love putting yogurt in lunches. So option number one is this plain vanilla yogurt. Now don't get me wrong, I'm a big fan of this yogurt. I personally love vanilla. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite yogurt flavor is, but I'd have to say this is kind of plain. It's not very exciting, not very colorful, and there's a big lack of sprinkles. It's time for this yogurt to have a transformation. Instead of this yogurt just looking like yogurt, I'm gonna make this yogurt look like it's a milkshake instead. And you know what? This yogurt actually looks a lot like the paint that she uses to paint her squishies. So now I'm gonna take this yogurt and put it into a plastic cup this one has a lid, so it's perfect for a lunch. And then to make this look like a milkshake, I'm gonna go ahead and squirt a little bit of whipped cream right on the top. And then I don't know about you, but I love sprinkles on just about everything. And so does Mariah. In fact, she has a special sprinkle song. <laughs> now I'd say this looks just like a milkshake, even though it's really just yogurt. And now it's time for our vegetables. Now I have to be honest with you, I have no idea if Mariah likes vegetables or not. Vegetables can tend to be kind of boring. There's not much you can do with them, but I'm gonna try my best. Instead of just having regular carrots and cucumbers, I'm gonna take these teeny tiny cookie cutters and I'm gonna punch out the center of each slice. Then I'm going to swap the pieces. So then some of these will be carrots filled with cucumber and the other ones will be cucumbers filled with carrots. Yeah, I think that works. I don't think vegetables get much better than that. And last but not least, we have the special treat. I always like to add just a little treat to all of my lunches. So our first treat option is this Hostess Cupcake. Now the box actually says that this is America's number one cupcake, but I don't know. It's not very colorful. There are zero sprinkles on it. And of course, there's the squish factor. Should we check and see how squishy this thing is? I'm not sure if this is gonna pass the squish test. Um, yeah, no, this is not squishable, but it is smashable. I think we can do better than this. What if we take the cupcake's bald cousin, also known as a muffin, and turn it into a giant cupcake. So here I have three different flavors of muffin. I have blueberry, chocolate, and poppy seed. Which one do you think we should pick? And what is that on my finger? Ew. Anyways, now if I had to guess, I would say Mariah would pick the chocolate one. So here we are, muffin friend. It's your special day. You get to become a cupcake. Yes, I've always wanted to become a cupcake. Now to make this giant cupcake, I'm gonna take a little bit of frosting and a piping bag with a star tip, and I'm going to try to pipe this on as nicely as I can. Do like it to look professional. And there you have it, not too shabby. But I'm not done yet. Cue the sprinkle song. Okay, that's probably enough. I love sprinkles, but they're kinda messy. Next, just for fun, I'm also gonna add some little emoji face candies. And then you know what? I was wrong. That's not enough sprinkles. I definitely think this would look a lot better with some heart sprinkles too. 
Oh man, I just cleaned that. Okay, I gotta stop it with the sprinkles. And then lastly, I have one more thing to put on top of this cupcake. We're bringing back more rainbows. I know Mariah loves rainbows and she will often combine different squishies to make one big squishy. So there's lots of different layers of things and that's exactly what we have with this cupcake. Lots of frosting, lots of different kinds of sprinkles and rainbows and unicorns. Okay guys, this was so fun. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.